What's going on guys and today we have episode 10 of the transfer rumour. This is the series we will look at all the transfer rumours from each day. It is uploaded at 11.30 or around that time each day so make sure to go check it out um, tomorrow and the next day and every single other day that's going to be on during the transfer window. Today we've got some interesting transfers, not as many as the normal episodes. I'm sorry about that, it's just there weren't as many kind of transfer rumours today. Um, but tomorrow there should be loads more and hopefully we can get back to doing 10 plus an episode. We've got 8 in this episode so we've still got quite a few to go through. We're going to start with Axel Witzel. He has been linked heavily to a few clubs in the Barclays Premier League, Liverpool, Chelsea, um, Everton, I believe maybe even Arsenal have been linked to this guy. But Inter Milan have came out of nowhere and they could snatch him away from all these Premier League clubs and um, bring him to the San Siro next season. There's not been a price thrown about yet or probably roughly the same as what it was for the Everton one, uh, 30 odd million, but into mine, haven't made a bid or anything yet, so we're not too sure about that. The rumour rating I'm going to give it is a 7. I think he probably will leave Zenit. There's too much interest um, for him to just stay. I think he will definitely leave, but I'm not too sure who to. So I'm only going to give it a rumour rating of 7. And a transfer rating of 8, because it would be a very, very good signing for Inter Milan. We then go into Marcus Rojo. He's apparently about to go on loan. Well, according to some newspapers, which you can't really believe, he's apparently about to go on loan to Villarreal. I'm only going to give it a room rating of four. I can't see Mourinho letting this guy go. He suits Mourinho's style of play very well. Um, a kind of defensive left-back he might use him as. Maybe even a centre-back at times. We'll have to see how he does it. But I just can't see him leaving. I'm going to give it a transfer rating of nine. I think it would be a very, very good deal if Villarreal could pull it off. But he is, he is a good defender. He's a quality, quality defender. And I just can't see Man United let him, letting him go out and loan um, when they can easily use him as one of probably their best defenders in the squad. So it'll be strange if this one goes through. But I suppose you never know. Some transfers just go out, come out of nowhere and just randomly happen. But I don't think this is going to happen, guys. Make sure to tell me down below. Then we have Clavin. I don't actually really know who this guy is. He's an Estonian centre-back, I do believe. Um, for Augsburg, FC Augsburg in Germany, is it? Um, and... He's been linked to Liverpool for 4.2 million. I'm going to give it a transfer rating of 7. I feel like when you see players um, like this that are linked, it normally does happen. When it's smaller players linked, they normally do happen. It's only when it's massive players that are linked, you can't really believe it because that's just newspapers making it up. But newspapers don't normally make up kind of smaller players moving. So... I think this could happen. Rumour rating of 7 because it's just came out in the last couple of hours or the last um, 24 hours or something like that, so I'm not too sure. And also a transfer rating of 7 as well. I think it'd be a decent sign if Liverpool, nothing too special, um, but he would do well in the defence. We then have a we then have a one that I've already had in a couple, uh, in one episode, I believe, in the past. Um, it's Koscielny to Bayern Munich. I actually predicted this like two weeks ago. I was like, you know what, this could happen. And all of a sudden, it just came out of the water and came back, and it could genuinely happen. He's turned down to 90, is it, is it, yeah, he's turned down a 90,000 um, pound a week uh, contract at Arsenal. And Bayern Munich seem interested, they seem like they want to pick up the Frenchman and it could go through, they won't need them I don't think, they've got Boateng Hummels, um, but they have like Oban Asia to be fair, maybe they need a backup centre back, maybe they're going to use them kind of as, um, they're going to switch them around each game, have them playing the same game time, we'll have to see, but I'm, I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to give it a 6 because it is still quite likely to happen. We then go on to Minolis, this one um, has been kind of circling around for the last couple of days, it is him to Arsenal, he's also been linked with Chelsea um, and Man United I believe as well, along with other clubs of course, um, 45 million euros though, that's just about maybe um, 38 million pounds, something like that, is the price tag quite hefty um, for a player like Minolis, but I'm going to give it a, a rumour rating of 6, I think. Arsenal might not sell him. I think he probably will leave. I'm only going to give it a 6 so because I don't know what club he's going to go to. It could be any of these clubs and we'll just have to see during the transfer window. I'm also going to give it a transfer rating of 10. He's a quality, quality centre-back and any club that get him um, will be very lucky and he'll do very well, I am sure, at that club. We're then going to go on to this one, guys. Of course, you've seen him in the Euros. It was absolutely incredible. That incredible goal against Belgium, um, which helped him through, it was just insane. Of course he is a free agent as well, so he could go to any club, but Reading was his previous club. I know he's a free agent, as I said there, but I have put his previous club as Reading, because that was the club he was at before he became a free agent. Hull City are interested, it's going to be free as well, he is a free agent, um, as I've said like 40 times now. Um, but I can see this happening, I think he will join a BPL team, and I don't think it'll be a big team like Liverpool, Man City, anything like that. I think it will be a small team, like maybe the Hulls, the Burnley, stuff like that. I'm going to give a rumour rating of 8, I think... Um, 
he is going to move, let's face it, he is a free agent, he is going to go somewhere, so it's quite highly he's going to go to a team like Hull, and a transfer rating of 8 as well, I think it would be a great deal for them. Then we go into Wisnaldum, Wisnaldum of course now in the Championship with Newcastle, £20 million um, is, the, is the apparent deal that's going to happen between them and Liverpool. I can see it happening, I really can see it happening, they seem to be the only really club linked with him at the moment, um, I think maybe a week ago there was a couple of clubs linked with him, Tottenham as well, but they seem to have just kind of drifted off and it's only Liverpool left, I think if he is going to leave, um, Liverpool are probably going to be the one that snatches that snatch him up, Sorry, I, I don't know if they want to pay £20 million for him, he wasn't great in the BPL last year, he was very good in the Eredivisie the year before, wasn't great in the BPL last year, though. I'm going to give it a room rating of 7, I think it is likely to happen, um, but it could go either way, yeah. and a transfer rating of 8, as of course it would be a very, very good deal for Liverpool, we then go into the final player of today's episode guys, it's James Rodriguez, currently of course of Real Madrid, West Ham apparently have shown their interest, but the price tag will be £67 million pounds which is a lot of money for West Ham but then again they are starting to gain some money they are starting to kind of bring in more expensive players um, especially if Payet leaves if Payet leaves for what's rumoured to be 60 plus million they could easily just buy Rodriguez in place for him it could happen I'm not too sure if it will happen um, it'll be a strange one if it does but it'll be absolutely incredible for the Premier League if Hamish Rodriguez did join a team especially a team like West Ham who aren't um, known as one of the kind of the big six teams, are they? So it'll be weird to see, but it'll be very, very exciting for the Premier League. I'm going to give it a run rating of three. Can't see it happening, but you never know. Um, and a transfer rating of ten would be, of course, a great deal for them. And we'll just have to see how it plays out for the rest of the summer. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, make sure to drop a like on the video. If we can hit 15 likes, that'll be absolutely insane. Subscribe, guys, as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.